Greetings, this is Billy the Ostrich with Inspect Element. To access Inspect Element, you need to first have Google Chrome open. If you don't have Google Chrome, install it. It's a good browser, you'll thank me later. Now to access it, you need to either press down Control, Shift I, or simply right click on your mouse. Now that you know how to access Inspect Element, let's go do some fun things with it. This first fun thing involves YouTube. And this is a good way to prank your friends. The friends that are too gullible to know. So if your friends know about Inspect Element, about this trick already, you're not going to get much of a reaction. But find a friend that isn't your brightest friend to put the nicest terms. So this is basically altering your subscriber amount. Well, not really. It's not, it's not permanent. You're not actually altering your subscriber count. So don't think this is a fast one of those hacks to get lots of subscribers. It's not. It's only inspect element, which means that will go away once you refresh the page. So we're going to be changing a few things. Like our subscriber count. So what you need to do is right click on the button, like the subscribe button, hit inspect. So you're going to get this huge menu of stuff, I guess. And what you need to do is find, see, this is the, you have to find the amount you have of subscribers. So let's edit as HTML. So we can change this to whatever you want. The, the eight was my subscriber count. So let's change it to, uh, let's beat PewDiePie just barely. 60 million 420. Why not? So make sure not to hit space after I just close it off like that and hit something else. Now when you close the menu, you will have, it'll show 6 million. Now of course it's not real. It also can be, you have to change everything about the page. You can't just change one thing. You have to change everything that gives remnants to your old subscriber count. So edit SHTML and then change it to the exact number or they're, they're going to think you're pranking. They're, it's a, not real. They'll realize it's a prank. Please not put like, please not hit enter after that. I think I messed it up. Let's do this again. Because I think I messed up. Well, that's a bad method. Wait, hang on. I didn't mess it up. You just hit the space in there. Now it should look like that. You, you should also change things about your views, too. You have to include every single detail of thought. So, by because they don't... Big channels over 10,000 subscribers do not have the discussion. They have the community tab. So, see, there's the community tab right there. You also need to make sure to change the like views on your videos to make it seem more realistic. So a channel about this size would, well, it depends on the situation. If you're, lots of your fans are old, like PewDiePie's channel, you're only going to get about like five, you're going to get way less views. You're not going to get all your subscribers to view it because most of them are old and inactive. So we're going to go with PewDiePie's situation. So we change everything they can see. So 10 views, we're gonna put, just put like random numbers. That's why I always do. And then this one, like maybe you don't really have a popular topic, so you might give it less views. Like this one might only get like 4 million. And then this one might get, like, it's the start of one of my series. And the start of a series is 
viewed a lot. I think I hit the wrong spot. So what we need to do is that. 11 views. So to start a series, we should probably get a lot of views. It should always have, if you have a start of a series, it should have, the first episode should have more views than the rest, because it only makes sense. Then maybe you don't have much of a successful video. Maybe people don't care about Alaska Route 11. Because it's a popular channel, you'd still end up getting like a million views. You have to put this into mo the most realistic terms. You have to think it through to make sure that your friend can't be, can't guess that it's fake. And maybe there's like a very popular topic like people want to see about Minecraft life. The Minecraft life trend. And then you have to change this to like any series or something like that. But I'm not going to do it because we're starting to run out of time for this one. I want to get on to the next trick. So our next one involves Google.com. So you hit the inspect element on the logo. And then you need to adjust its height. You need to adjust its height. Just put a random height into it. And then uh, the width. Make it something random too. And let's see if this works. And yes, we have a really distorted Google logo. Like, see, this is the blue. It's stretched out. So that's another cool trick. Not as exciting and long as the last one, but still pretty cool. Okay, so the last thing we're going to be doing is just altering a tweet. And what not better Twitter page can we do it than Donald Trump? So let's edit this tweet. You should know by now that this doesn't affect anything. So let's say like, uh, United States closed down all zoos because dank memes took over. Period. Okay, so see, you'll read this just for, I don't know what I'm doing at this point. This is just the last one because I'm so bored. It says, United States closed down all zoos because dank memes, I forgot to put take, so I have to add take into the mix. Or is it took? I think it's took because it's the, uh, it happens in the past and that's the past term of take or taken. The taken would work too, but I think took over sounds better. Okay. So that's all I have planned for today because I'm kind of getting bored of this. You'll, you'll find cool things to do with it. There are endless possibilities of things you can do with inspect element. Keep on inspect elementing. Thank you so much for watching my video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more content. Have a good day. Bye.